in order to tell whether compound A here uh, is a primary, secondary, or tertiary halo alkene, we need the structural formula because if we have the structural formula, it would be easy to see. So let's uh, you know go ahead and do that. So for 4.1, uh, let's just copy the formula we given. We have CH3 and then C in bracket uh, CH3. Uh, we have Br, CH2, CH3. So if we draw the structural formula uh, for this compound A here, uh, then we can better tell whether it's a primary, secondary, or tertiary alcohol. So we have CH3 to start with, right? So let's go ahead and have that. So we have CH3, and then we have a carbon. On that carbon, we have a branch here, as you can see, right? So we have a branch, we have another carbon here. You can put it uh, at the bottom, it doesn't matter. And then we have a halogen, right? So let's go ahead and uh, put the halogen, we have Br. Uh, we have another carbon, uh, two hydrogens, uh, another carbon and three hydrogens, right? Uh, so with these dashes, uh, you can fill in the ages. Uh, let me just yeah do that so that it can look uh, we image better than it does now so there goes our carbons uh, our hydrogens i mean uh, there goes our hydrogens and yeah so is uh, this compound a primary secondary or tertiary hello that's the question we're trying to answer right so here's the um, uh, halogen here uh, br right and then it's attached to this carbon right if the carbon is attached to three other carbons then it's a tertiary haloalkene right and then as you can see here this carbon is attached to one two three right so from that uh, we know that uh, compound a is a tertiary uh, halo alkene right if you want to know how to determine a secondary or a primary haloalkene then yeah you can just you know uh look that up let's do 4.2 so for point 4.2 here we're looking at uh, the first reaction reaction one right uh this uh reaction yeah here so 4.2.1 says that uh beside heat write down the other reaction condition needed right but then i feel like uh question 4.2.2 should have been question 4.2.1 right and then 4.2.1 4.2.2 because for you to know uh, the conditions you need to know the type of reaction that is taking place right so let's start with 4.2.2 instead so 4.2.2 says uh write down the type of reaction that takes place so let's look at compound uh, a right uh, compound a is saturated as we can see it's saturated right uh there's no double bond and then compound b is unsaturated right unsaturated unsaturated so every time when we go from saturated to unsaturated that is elimination something has been eliminated initially we didn't have any double or triple bonds and now we do so that is elimination reaction so 4.2.2 we can write elimination uh reaction right uh we don't have to be specific you just see the type so we can just say elimination we don't have to be we don't have to tell which elimination reaction it is right and then now we can take off 4.2.1 besides heat let's write down the other reaction condition needed the other reaction condition needed for this kind of reaction is a concentrated base right we need a concentrated base for this reaction to take place. And then 4.2.3 says that uh, using structural formula uh, for the organic compounds, let's write down a balanced equation for this reaction. So let's go ahead and do that, right? We already have the uh, structural formula for compound uh, for compound what? For compound A, right? So I'm just going to um, use that one that we already have there and uh, take it from there, right? So we have um, compound one there, and then uh, compound A, and then plus uh, a concentrated base, right? So let's use K O H, and then um, uh, let me just I have put them on the same line. So let's say uh, plus K O H here. So we say in plus K O H, right? 
and then let's uh, remove yeah these things that we have there so this reaction it will give us c5 h10 right so but we know that uh, the longest uh, carbon chain has four carbons right so we're gonna have one two three four right and then now we can start uh, breaking down our reaction right so we're gonna have a carbon here uh, we're gonna have we're gonna have a hydrogen here we're gonna have a hydrogen here and we're gonna have uh, another hydrogen we still have uh, that branch there so let's yeah just put that branch there and then here we're going to lose uh, the br right so the br that we had here uh, we are going to lose it there so if we lose it there uh, obviously we should have a double bond right uh, because uh, carbon should have uh, four bonds so there goes our double bond here uh, we have a hydrogen so now because uh, we have a double bond we must lose this hydrogen that was in that position right and then uh, the last carbon is still intact nothing has changed right and then uh, we're gonna have <coughs> yeah this structural formula here for the organic compound and then plus uh, we had KOH so we're gonna have plus K uh, BR plus H2O yeah so the structural formula should look uh, something like that let's do 4.3 so 4.3 is saying that um let's write down the structural formula of compound c right so let's look at compound c uh compound c is right here right and we need the structural uh formula for compound c compound c is an alcohol right and then i uh, will get it uh, from compound b via some reaction two so let's you know write down compound b and see how we can end up with an alcohol from that so compound b we have uh one uh one two three four uh carbons right and then let's put our hydrogens there and then another hydrogen here a double bond a hydrogen or a branch we have a branch here and then we have um what do we have a cup a hydrogen there a hydrogen here and a hydrogen here so from compound b to compound c uh we need two more uh hydrogens right and one oxygen and one oxygen so how can we possibly do that uh, let me show you right so instead of having a double bond here uh, we're gonna have o h right and then here we're gonna have a hydrogen and that's the structural formula of compound c right and then now 4.3.2 so 4.3.2 is saying that uh let's write down the name or formula of the inorganic uh, reagent needed for yeah for reaction yeah for reaction two uh that is h2so4 we need h2so4 uh for that reaction to take place and 4.3.3 says uh which type of addition reaction uh takes place in reaction two we add in two hydrogens right two hydrogens and one oxygen you can see here that we have h2o basically and uh, that addition reaction is hydration right so 4.3.3 we have hydration now 4.4 uh 4.4.1 is saying that uh, let's consider reaction 3 um right on the type of reaction that takes place so compound a is saturated right it's saturated no double bonds and then compound c is also saturated no uh double bonds or triple bonds right that reaction it's substitution because of that right we're only substitution we are <laughs> we are only substituting we're not adding or removing anything right so it cannot be addition or elimination it can only be substitution so 4.4.1 we have substitution reaction substitution reaction and uh 4.4.2 uh 4.4.2 besides uh, heat uh, write down the other reaction condition needed uh, we need a dilute base so we have a dilute uh, base here for 4.4.2